going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another reaction video here on beautiful YouTube, even though we're streaming on Twitch right now. So we got Bring Me the Horizon and they just dropped a new video called Kool-Aid. So you all know when Bring Me the Horizon drops a new song, you drop everything in your hands, even your newborn child and you start checking out the fucking song, am I right? Kool-Aid explores the manipulative and abusive drive of a cult leader who in the end is willing to sacrifice his followers for the greater cause. The title of this song is a reference to the Jonestown Massacre where 900 members of the People's Temple cult committed mass suicide upon the request of their leader, Jim Jones. They died from drinking cyanide and other sedatives in a fruit drink which was originally misidentified as Kool-Aid. What the fuck? They later found needle marks which meant some people were forced to die making it a mass murder. Kool-Aid will never be the same for me again. Shit, let's get to it. Some of y'all are saying I need to whip out my Bible right here. So we got the Bible pulled out just in case. God damn it. That was a weird sentence. I should not have said what I said with that. Okay, y'all ready? Let's go. Society is the ultimate crime against humanity. Okay. Sweet God. You got a bunch of kids lined up in a firing squad? Well, this is not getting monetized by YouTube. Okay. The thing that I absolutely love about Bring Me the Horizon is the fact that like they're, according to their subgenre, whatever, the, what is the subgenre of Bring Me the Horizon? <laughs> Reddit says they're metalcore. Is it? I don't know. Point being, Bring Me the Horizon has songs that are so fucking good. And I, th I think that all the, the grain to Ollie Sykes' voice, it's, it's so unique. They always have music about such intense, meaningful, inspirational, in a weird sort of darkness messages. You know, they do such a good job at differentiating themselves from every other band. It's super, super impressive. Okay. Um, bring me the horizon. Let's get my mind off of the strippers. Uh, that's that's getting your mind off of th something that you don't want. You do that. You. I don't know how the fuck they do it, but they have an unbelievable ability to literally like make the most catchy songs that are borderline radio friendly about the darkest material out there. It's so weird. It's the best of both worlds. It's intense and introspective, but it's super catchy and heavy. It's like, it's everything you want. It's like a bag of checks mix. What if, and only they can get away with strippers and children in a music video. It's, <laughs> <laughs> no, don't shoot him! Of a break. 
breakdown with the solo and I sense that I paused at a bad time, so I'll stop being a douchebag. His scream is so good! It's <laughs> like Hey! This is supposed to be a family show, dude. Kinda. Of. No wait, what? Oh shit! Or some shit like that. This is gonna end in some in tears or some shit like that. <laughs> that's fucking solid, dude. And over here on Twitch, we give songs ratings. And that, dude, that's gotta be fuck, man. That's gotta be a uh, eight four. Eight four. I, I, that's what I give it. I give it an eight four. Super solid. I'm just always impressed with Bring Me the Horizon's ability to make. A dark song so unbelievably catchy, filled with grain, and just that slaps your gulliver like no one else can. Jesus Christ. All right, uh, YouTube, goodbye for now. Twitch, I'm, I'm still hanging out with y'all.